What's up guys, welcome to the channel. I got another round of unboxings, stuff I picked up, just pretty much everything I've got regarding video games, I guess in the last two weeks. Uh, the big thing though, Rumblestorm. I got a physical of Rumblestorm. Uh, if you guys follow me on YouTube or social media, I've been talking about this game for a few weeks now. It's, uh, it's one of the best shooters I've seen in a while. And like for real though, they need to put this on this. So let's just jump right into it. Okay guys, Rumblestorm. There's actually somebody that follows me on Instagram and they commented something like they've been following the development of this game. I think that's pretty cool. Um, there's actually a game I'm following right now called Wings of Blue Star. There's actually a demo I think up on Steam right now. So check that out guys, Wings of Blue Star. It looks kind of like Valstar. I haven't played the demo yet. Although now that I think about it, I will play it today. But uh, man, Rumblestorm. I cannot believe they have a physical for this game. You know, thank God, I met this store owner in Japan, and me and him have just been like, you know, I, I throw names at him, like, hey, can you get this, can you get that? And he can find some pretty obscure stuff, so he found this brand new, it was 35 bucks, by the way, plus $9 shipping from Japan, so, yeah. I'll pay that for a shooter, especially a weird one like this. But, uh, oh, this is like a hentai shooter, so there is nudity in this game. And it's a little bit more risque than, let's say, a game like uh, Steam Hearts on the PC Engine, the Sega Saturn. Let's crack this thing open and see if there's any kind of artwork inside. Maybe a manual, some kind of anything. Feels kind of light. Let's see, there's nothing. Nothing but a disc, but that disc has some pretty cool looking artwork on it. Some of the characters from the game, the ship. Um, and this game really reminds me of, it's, this is like if Grindstormer and Bullet Soul had a baby, it would be this game just without the nudity. Oh, there's a family friendly all ages edition of this game that everybody in the family can play that should also be on Steam as well. Okay, so here we have Sonic Mania. You know, nothing crazy. Now, I have heard a lot of good things about this game. Um, that Sega hired on uh, big fans of the series that really took attention to detail with artwork and gameplay mechanics to make this game. And, you know, it's like one of those, like, this, like, this game, like, kind of represents a turning point uh, for fans and, and Sega's, you know, history, you know, moving forward to, you know, 2019 and beyond. So I definitely wanted to support Sega. And it, it definitely helped that this game only cost... $20 at uh, Best Buy um, so yeah so let's just uh, let's open this sucker and see what this thing comes with it says it comes with an art book so and there's the art book really cool okay kind of looks like a kid's like coloring book doesn't it but it does have like concept art in there um, you know I'm, I'm assuming that this is artwork from the fans uh, that created the game I should probably read this I don't know I'm sure you guys do know. If you do know, let me know in the comments down below. But uh, really cool concept art in here. It looks like some uh, finalized artwork. Um, you know, I know they did a lot of the game, you know, modeled it after uh, levels of Sonic from, you know, previous Sonic games. So let's take a look at the, uh, the case that the cart comes in because that's sealed as well. Um, yeah, the cover of this, you know, I think they could have done a better job on the front cover. You know, I'm not trying to be too critical or anything, but it looks like a kid's coloring book. But... You know, that's just me. Okay, Let's slice this sucker open. See if this comes with a manual. Although, probably not. You know, that big, uh, you know, that big art book that would probably suffice as a manual in today's day and age. But let's see if there's anything else in there. If there's any kind of DLC codes or anything, I'm going to have to end up blurring it out. All right, moment of truth. Nothing. Well, there's like a little. I'll tell you what there is. There's some pretty badass reversible cover art there. Look at that. Now, it looks like a Sega Genesis game. Now, I was just bitching about that front cover art, and I completely take that back now. Yeah, let's, let's flip that out. I'm going to have to do that right now. <laughs> there we go, man. Wow, look at that. Sonic Mania. Now, of course, this is still going to go with my, uh, you know, Switch games, but pretty awesome that they did that reversible cover art and that's great for fans of the series like myself so pretty cool these are just three games that i picked up in my walk through the mall uh this first one arcade shooting gallery for the nintendo wii haven't even played it yet uh, you know the wii's the only system where you can still do like on light games on a tv and they do have some cool games you know this is one of them i, I guess i haven't played it yet if it's cool let me know in the comments down below probably gonna hook it up tonight and play it but uh, there's a note section in this manual. That's always awesome. I mean, it's five bucks. 
I mean, you might as well grab these cool Wii games when you see them. I love those shooting games. You know, I like shoot 'em ups. Any kind of shooting game I'm into. Not too big into first person shooters, but anyway, R Type 3 on the Game Boy Advance card only. Pick that up at Regen, a little local retro store in my area. Um, always wanted that game, R Type 3 on the Super Nintendo. I've played it through an emulator, but uh, this game does not quite play like the R Type 3 that we got on Super Nintendo. It's a little bit slower. Um, which is a shame, but anyway, Nano Stray. Now, this is a really good game. This is surprisingly good on the DS. I actually play this on a new 3DS XL. Um, this is a great game, guys. I, I highly recommend it. <laughs> Nano Stray, great shooter, hard as hell to find, but not an expensive game. I mean, go on eBay and get it or online. I just I, I try to find games like this out and about in retro stores and whatever in my area. I just never found a copy until now, so I'm super excited about that. But uh, there's a note section in that manual as well. Awesome. A sign of times past. But anyway, that's R-Type 3, Nano Stray, and Arcade Shooting Gallery for the Nintendo Wii. You know, got some pretty good stuff this go around. And that Rumble Storm, oh my god. As soon as the guy said he could get it, my first question, how much? So, I looked out on that one. I, I would have never known. You know, thank god I knew somebody in Japan. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you like this video. If you like awesome video games, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Till next time, guys. Peace out.